Hello, welcome to my Slice Info. We'll bring you information on cryptocurrency both old and new. And more recently, we'll focus on ICP, which is a revolutionary project in the 21st century. We've talked about the ICP token in the platform itself. Mostly, we know of the NNS, which is a network never system, where we can store ICPs and do other stuff on the internet computer. Recently, two wallets have been deployed on the internet computer, which we're going to talk about in this video and what these wallets can do. If you're new on these slides, don't forget to subscribe and stay updated if you are interested in this kind of content. Thank you for watching and keep watching. As I already said, we only had at the start of the internet computer, we only had the network never system as the ICP wallet. So that basically meant that if you bought ICP or own ICP, that's the only place where you could store it or stake it. Uh, more recently, new wallets have been deployed on the internet computer, which we're going to look into. First, let's look at Deep Finance. Deep Finance is a wallet that is built on the computer. And let's take a look, see how it works. It's still in de development and not much has been, like it hasn't been officially launched yet. So, so far we have the wallet and then we have token issuance option. It means uh, here you can issue your own token. And then we have a swap option. So just imagine having a swap on the internet computer. That would be amazing. This is still a test. Deployed for test, the tokens have no value. All canister data may be cleared in the future. Is it at your own risk? So, uh, so far it's not for real use yet, but we can see something looking really uh, good right here especially the option to swap where we can swap like in a decentralized nature as well as create tokens on this wallet and uh, let's look at the other wallet stoic wallet a uh, stoic wallet which is uh, like uh, created by tonic labs is another wallet on the Indian here that is more functional um, already deployed working fine uh, it has many options so far uh, the first option we should look at is a token registry out uh, here we can see the options uh, we can see so many tokens that have been created right in this wallet like it's it's unbelievable how easy it is to create a token. Uh, these are tokens, and if you see this, it's a token I created the other day. And if you keep looking, you see more and more tokens created uh, in this platform, which is pretty amazing. Um, and once you have this wallet, you have the option to create your own token. Like if you click on the plus here, you should be able to create a token right away. So we can give it a try, right? Uh, slice, let's do slice. Info, uh, it's a token name, a symbol as I, and initial supply. Uh, 1 million and let's leave this at that and create token do that and and hold on for a minute let's hold on for a minute and then check the token is created right here slice info symbol and total supply owners 
one. Uh, this is interesting. And also, let's look at other options here. We have the option of NFTs, uh, marketplace, still at better. Marketplace here, you can buy your own NFTs. And like we already talked about, NFTs are non-fungible tokens. It means they cannot be uh, changed. Or like once created, uh, they can only be one. And you can exchange it, it goes to another person. But then that same token cannot be exchanged. So they are non-fungible. They cannot be modified or, or someone else have duplicate of it somewhere it can only be one of it so here we see many options like many tokens that have been created on this like right here in this system and the option to buy or sell your own token uh, and you can use your ICP balance to buy tokens here so right here you can buy a token for 5.3 ICP and the price probably you know depends on the quality of the token but now I don't I'm not sure what determines uh, the price like if if it's in terms of how beautiful the token is or the design or whatever we see six here and if you go further you see different prices uh, for each token like i think the further you go the more expensive the tokens i see right here we're going to eat in the eight here and keep going to nine and lots of tokens on this uh, stoic wallet right in there so this is a very special very special option where you can do everything in your wallet you don't have to transfer to an exchange um, you can do everything right from your wallet which is uh, an option that I think is pretty cool on the inner computer where from your wallet everything can be done and there's no third party you can only um, uh, swap like or send directly to the other person they receive it and exchange the tokens right there pretty convenient i'd say so if you buy a token you would be able to save your token or the token will go to your wallet so here i don't have any tokens or non-fungible tokens yet so uh, if i had tokens they would appear here so whenever i buy a token on the market or from the market i'll be able to see my tokens right here and from right here i can i can sell my tokens in the market there so this is really nice and once you see look here you see the uh the token that i just created see the difference this is a token right and this is a non-fungible tokens and this one is like you know the, the coins you can uh, create a coin and then decide what the coin you want to use it for the purpose of your token and here non-fungible tokens are pretty unique because um, you can only have one and then uh, once you have that one it cannot be be tampered with you can sell it to another person and then they can sell it to a next person and it goes on like that it cannot be changed they are non-fungible um it's really cool so uh looking at everything 
uh, if we look at uh, neurons here, uh, we see an option that is probably still in the making here. Um, uh, and when you think of neurons, we think of the network nervous system where where we're able to uh, where we're able to stake our ICPs in neurons and then earn earn some rewards. I would assume eventually we would have that option here, maybe to stake our ICPs from this wallet right here, which would be amazing, right? which would be something convenient, just an option for you not to have to only stake in the uh, network never system. So far, so good. So these are the two wallets we have so far in the internet computer. And to finish it up, um, remember that the internet computer has, when, when you want to uh, get into the internet computer, you need an internet identity, your ID. And this ID can be used all across every service on the internet computer. There's something I really appreciate about the internet computer, the fact that you don't have to create a new uh, username or password for each service or for each uh, platform uh, on the internet. You can use just one ID to access all the services uh, on the internet computer, which means, uh, if, uh, let's think of it this way, there's, uh, there's a Facebook on the internet computer, there's a Twitter, there's a WhatsApp, there's, there's everything else, every platform out there, YouTube, everything else. You don't need uh, different accounts to access these services. You just need one ID to uh, access all these services. This is the plan of the internet computer, which is amazing. Uh, for instance, in these wallets, which uh, these new wallets, I can sign in using my one internet identity. I don't have to create another one. Um, I just need my ID to sign in. And there are other uh, apps on the internet computer as well where I just sign in with my ID. I don't need to create any any new ID or uh, username or password, which is quite awesome indeed. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something here. And if you did, make a sign to show it was enjoyable. If not, Keep trying until you change your mind and give us a like. See you again in the next slides. Bye.